Hi, I'm Scott Mullins, and I'm coming to you again today to bring another update on our I-75 reconstruction project. Uh, currently, we are standing at 309 Interstate 75 interchange area uh, in the vicinity of the southbound exit ramp, the old southbound exit ramp. And today is May 1st, and as you can see by my short sleeves, we finally got some weather that is conducive for construction. It has quit raining and the sun is shining. Right behind me here, we have two 11 foot diameter corrugated metal pipes that we are getting ready to line uh, due to the de deterioration of the existing pipes. The bottom is rusted out. So to fix that, we, will, we had to divert the water into the right pipe and we had to clean the left pipe. And now that it's all clean, they're, they're ready to start pushing new pipe through of a smaller diameter. Once that new pipe is in, we will fill any voids with grout and it'll be just like a brand new pipe. The reason we're lining the pipe instead of replacing the pipe is in order to replace the pipe, we would have to close Interstate 75 to uh, dig out the trench and, and remove the old pipe. So by lining the, pi the pipe instead, uh, it's much more efficient and it keeps the traveling public moving on the interstate. We're getting to line the culvert here on the I-75. Uh, they're lowering the pipe into the hole. They have the first piece in right now. Uh, they're lowering the second piece in as we speak. Connect those two pieces of pipe to metal band. We're having a little trouble right now getting the two pieces connected, but uh, they'll figure it out. It's uh, kind of early in the process and we're just getting started on this thing. So um, it's kind of a big learning curve here. We'll get the first one done and the second, the second, the third, and so on. It'll we'll go a lot easier, I think. But right now they're trying to get the pipe a little bit more level so they can, they can get it connected. And that's when they, when they do get it connected, they will um, have to slide that pipe inside the other one. Um, so they'll use the, the hoe from, from behind the pipe and, and pull it towards pull it towards them and into the other pipe one by one. So a few feet at a time here. The, the tubes that are at the top of the at the top of the uh, existing pipe down there. That's what they're gonna use to grout around between the existing pipe and the new pipe. Those, each one of those tubes are a little bit longer in length. They start out like at 20 feet inside the pipe. The, the, the next pipe, the next uh, tube you see there will be like 40 feet inside the pipe, the next one like 60, um, those kind of things. And they'll use those to start out with the longest one and then keep them come towards the end of the pipe. I'm currently standing at the interchange with I-75 and State Route 309 where the uh, old set, or, yeah, southbound exit ramp was. And as with any uh, construction project, highway project, one of the first things we do is uh, take care of our drainage. So as you can see behind me, there's a rather large concrete box culvert being put in. Uh, this one will actually go all the way under 309 when we're finished. We're just installing the first part of it now as traffic is diverted. But the contractor looks to be finishing up uh, this part of it. And uh, once we switch traffic on 309, to the westbound lanes, then we can finish up the rest of this box call. You can see the water traveling around the box culvert now. The contractor had to divert the existing water so that they could get in there and do their work. <laughs> 